You know, one thing doing fundamental research and the other thing you see how it's been used for production, the feeling is so exciting when you see that the thing you're working on is being used by everyday life. We set our sights on solving big communications networking materials and protocols and systems and platform problems. And that's what uh, Alcho did. He, he focused on the materials part by inventing a whole a set of new materials that were actually using a technique called molecular beam epitaxy to create materials that were the foundation of modern communications. What was special about the invention of uh, Dr. Cho is that it allowed to grow on top of this wafer very precise layers of other semiconductors. And because of that, we can actually do something which is called band cap engineering. So you can actually have the, this wafer is actually a crystal. And the layers which are grown on top, they actually maintain the crystal structure. And by doing it layer by layer, this is the epitaxy part, you do it layer by layer using molecular beams of gallium and arsenic, you could actually grow these beautiful layers, layer by layer, and that perfection gave rise to very interesting materials properties. And as a result, you can do amazing things with these materials. You can turn them into quantum systems, you can turn them into optical systems, you can turn them into RF amplification systems. And these very perfect layered materials he was able to grow are the foundation of all communications devices and optics and radio and even quantum systems today. A little bit after uh, Dr. Cho invented the uh, MBE, they were actually able to grow very high quality layers. And, and they actually then allowed uh, the team of, of uh, Horst Stormer, uh, Danny Tsui and uh, Laughlin to actually make this, uh, I mean, get their invention of the fractional quantum Hall effect and get the Nobel Prize. This discovery would never have been feasible. Was it not for the, um, you know, the way this, we could grow these new materials and you know, very pure, very high mobility, very new physics uh, at work. Elcho, I think, is a classic. Bell Labsian, in that he wants to solve real, real problems that humans care about because it enables them to communicate and connect and network better. So we pioneer things to solve the next problem. That's what uh, Al did. He realized that the potential of his technique was massive. So he kept building and testing and, and building new devices and experimenting with those new devices and then explored each of those dimensions, as I said, in optics, in radio. So your cell phone has many of Al's devices in it. Your lasers have many of Al's devices in it. Uh, and then quantum systems, a completely separate sort of new computing paradigm, he explored those. So, so the idea of doing that, to, to find the new, to increase knowledge but find new things, that's classic Bell Labs. And so I think Al remains a strong proponent of hard work is the advantage everyone has. You can always say moments of inspiration and genius and whatever and happenstance are the things you don't control, but hard work is your greatest advantage and everyone has that advantage. And so he, he used that endlessly to, uh, to pioneer things uh, you know, above and beyond what he considered his ability, which, which was considerable in itself. In Bell Laboratories, you work with many, many outstanding scientists and engineers together and collaborating is to enjoy the excitement of new discoveries.